All righty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera. We are on air, and Fina is in the house. There she is right there. Oh, my good dog, Fina. Today, we are fabricating fenders out of exhaust pipe. Uh, I've never done this before. This is for the new people that's coming on. I've never done this before. Uh, this is just something I'm trying. I come up with it in my brain. I showed yesterday what I was thinking. Um, and that's it. I've never done it before. Um, but I'm thinking that it's going to give me the shape that I want and the desired look I want, I guess. Uh, yesterday we had the, the step board put on. When I got looking at it after we did the video, I looked at it and I didn't like it. It was too long. In my, in, for me, it was too long. I changed it because I, I did not like it. It was way up here and I moved it back here. Uh, the reason I didn't want the running board way up here is because when you, uh, there was no need of the running board to be there. If you were getting into the truck, you would never step up here by the exhaust for the running board. Also, uh, I shortened it because I wanted the fender to have a longer rake on it. Uh, I thought it would look better with the longer rake on the front. Uh, the back piece, or one of the pieces that I've done earlier, this is one of the pieces that I added the, the pipe to. Uh, this is one I added 23 inches to, my, my U-bend that I made. When I got looking at it, um, this, is, this would be better for the back fender than, than the front fender. And the reason being is the length of it and the angle I got going up here. So I could pretty well make this one fit for the back. So what I have done is I've, I've shortened this and I've taken the U-bend that we made out of the exhaust pipe uh, yesterday at the end I put it on the back now I'm going to go for the front so today I'm going to try to frame this up uh, so we can all get to see what it's going to look like and, and that's basically going to be it I'm going to try to frame it up making ex fenders out of exhaust pipe never done it before and uh, that's what I'm doing uh, I've got some 2x4 cut here uh, the 2x4 is going to be the distance I think that I want off the front fender. The reason I'm going to use the 2x4 is because the front end has been lowered in this truck and the rear end has not been. It was made, supposed to be a like a hot rod sort of thing. We've got it doing the hot rod rake um, and we wanted it lower in the front than, than the back. Um, so there's going to be a little bit of difference going on. <clears throat> so if I put it back where it was supposed to be, um, I would probably gain another two inches and then I'd have that much in the front as I have in the back. We'll see what happens. But I have the U joint right now on the front fender. I'm wanting, I'm wanting the front fender to come to the edge of the tire. So as I put that on there, I'm going to find out. Come on now, move your move your toesies, Chetty. Um, I'm going to find out where Plum is. You can see the ball there. So I'm going to have that fender right about there, right on top of the front fender. I don't think it needs to go out any further. Um, I don't think it needs to go any further. But that's basically where it's going to go. It's going to get the fender's going to be out further than the. Don't think it needs to be out here at all. I think there's just fine. So, what I'm thinking is, as I have that there, I'm going to do a little measurement. And I'm going to put it on top of that. This here, I'm going to put it on the high spot of the wheel. Now, when that, piece, when that piece of exhaust pipe comes up from the step board, I'm thinking that I do not need it any further away the, from the wheel than that. If it comes up here, the wheel, if the, if the exhaust pipe comes here and it's got the same distance um, from this there, the, there now the wheel's only coming up so high, so um, this distance here, that, if that 2x4 was right there, it'd be the same distance, be the same movement, so... Um, that, at the, if you look at the end of the tape measure, I'm trying to explain something as, as I'm trying to explain it to myself, basically. Um, I'm explaining it to myself. As I have that on there, I have more distance at the end of that tape measure to the wheel than I do at the top of the tape, where the tape measure is laying on the 2x4. So I'm thinking that's enough distance. So if I went two feet, so if I went two feet, I've got, this is how I measure this. I got, if I went two feet, I've got 10 there, so I need 14, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add 14 inches on uh, this piece. 
So let's add 14 inches on that piece and then we'll have a piece for the top wheel and then we'll just have to build to what we got going on. I'm going to save this piece, I'm thinking. Save that piece. Can think wasn't really ready yet, but here I go. Let's get her rocking and rolling. So we want a 14 inch piece to weld on the end of that. And my marker, I drop it already some more, put it down, 14 inch. We need two of them. Just give me a little better cut when I go around. That's all. Let's do it. needs a cutoff saw, huh? Who needs a cutoff saw? We need two of them. Thanks, everybody, for coming back. I appreciate it. Um, we are just revamping the giveaway truck that we bought back. That's all we're doing. And we're going to make an oil truck out of it. We're going to make an oil truck out of it for shits and giggles. We've applied a hood and two hood sides so far. Now we want to put fenders on it. Using one of my little connectors there this morning that someone sent. Thank you very much. The exhaust pipe that you buy has a coating on it. The pipe that you buy from Speedway does not, so it doesn't need cleaning. I've never seen so many stickers on pipe before, but I guess it's necessary. I guess it's necessary. I'm going to scrub it off. be hard to get off after get it rocking and rolling. We've got this piece here. We're going to add these on the end of that. That's uh, take out a piece of angle iron. That's how I'm putting this together. Trying to get it straight, right, and tight. Straight, right, and tight. Sounds good, don't it? Straight, right, and tight. Let's do this. So we're going to try to get this framed up and make it look like something. And it will not look like... Um, the best until we get it closed in right like there's metal that's going to have to cap it all there's going to be a lot of welding to weld all that up all the metal on the top of that all the metal for the front fender then there's metal going like there's going to be a lot of welding going on but that's what we do if you can picture it we've made the whole truck except for the cow the cow part, the windshield and this post part. So the whole truck has been made, fabricated from nothing. The only thing is the cow. No, sorry, the grill shell. But we did have to fix and repair each of them. Like the grill we had to do work to and the, and the cow we had to do work. But the rest of the whole truck has been fabricated from nothing. We might as well continue on with the fenders. That's how I'm feeling. <laughs> had me? Sure we had. I'm going to put some gloves on. Burnt my hands a couple times last time. Jolene looks amazing today. As always, amazing, amazing, amazing. 
Rafina's being a good dog this morning. She's a little needy when she goes outdoors. If she wants to get back in, she lets you know, that's for sure. Need a helmet? But aren't we all a little needy? Aren't we all? So, let's get this going on here and get her going Ooh, straight. Looks good to me. <laughs> Did I tack that to that? No, I didn't. Um, let's just flop that over a second. I'm just gonna tack it real quick right here. Let's do this one. on something there because we don't seem to be looks straight to me ah. got one of these a little bit off a little bit. Hmm. Gotta check that out. Get her tacked on there. I want to make sure that that's 10 at the end. I'm looking at that. Ba, ba, ba. It has to be 10 at the end because if it's not, well then I have to adjust it. Get it in there a little bit. Too much. Ten is our width that we're going for. Oh. Hurry quick, nail it. Ten. Alrighty. Good gap there, I'm gonna nail it. Gap. I've got no gap in a couple places, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the, the grinder. I've got it tacked together. We're at 10 at the end. We've got no gap going on right here, so I'm going to just put the zip cut through it. All, that for, all that's for is penetration. Just want to make sure that when we weld it together, it, it stays together.
is there. If we have penetration, we know when we grind it off, we've got something still holding our pipe together. If it's tight, if you grind it all off, I've showed it before. What have you got holding your pipe together? Not probably not much. But where we got a little bit of gap going on, we'll probably feel good about grinding it off to make it look good. If not, you're asking for, I don't want to say trouble, but it's not a good thing. We got no gap going on right here. Put a little, a little gap in it so it holds good. Try and do this as quickly as possible. I find the best way to weld pipe is one dot at a time. Just looks neater. And if it doesn't look as neat as you want it to be, well then grind it off and do it again. There are we still 10. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Ah. We're a little shy. Bend it, it's not a problem. It's metal. It'll bend, it'll do whatever, bang it on the floor, pull on it. 10. Beautiful. All right. Now, this piece here, I say, is going here. I'll turn that welder off, I will. Change my hat. Thank you very much, Jolene. All righty. So we got both pieces on the fender. The fender's not going to sit that low on the back, but that's the height that we're going to have it on the front. Um, I have a piece of pipe there that I did not cut. Um, because I thought it could be a good piece for the angle. I'm going to, so this is how I'm going to do this. Yeah, I thought the running board looks just looked better being smaller. Um, and, I, and I took my time, cut it off, and just replaced it. I will weld the holes shut up front. And, uh, and another thing too, as I have that bracket on there, that that by no means is going to do that is not going to do for having doing holding the running board and, and the fenders and all that stuff that is not going to it's not going to do it i need this to come down a little bit and i'm just running the level on it so what i'm going to do is put this on the outside of it so that's not going to do. We're probably going to end up running a gusset, welding it along maybe along the side here and bring it up to the top of the frame and bolting it all the way along here and then running that down there so that cannot take off or go anywhere. And we might put something on the bottom of it, but it is not nowhere near, nowhere near being. Now. Ten inches. So good on the fly here. I like to hold that and I'm gonna get a clamp. Nope, look at that, it'll stay there for me. Nope, I'm gonna get a clamp because it won't. You know it and I know it. I could ask my lovely assistant to hold it, but she's doing the camp. That's how you get to see what's going on. I'll just it's been a cold last couple days here in Nova Scotia. Woo! She's been cold. Now, 10 inches is this piece. We're 10 inches wide on this. Damned old tape measure. We're using that thing. So I'm going to measure in 10 inches on this. Fina, stop, please. All right. So I'm saying that um, things might change, but I'm saying this right now that this piece can go on there, 10 inches. 
and you can see well we'll get this one let's get this piece fitting on this piece of pipe we'll get this honed out a little bit i'm not sure where we're going with it yet and when when i do when i do the running board uh, i'd like to see the metal come right up on so we're going to have a an area where we're going to get it where it should be i guess I'm just going to scoop out the middle of this pipe with a piece of, with the flapper wheel. Shouldn't be a problem. More stickers. Filling my flapper wheel up. It won't fill this one. Now, that there, we get that scooped out a little bit. Not sure if it's enough or not, but probably is. I'm gonna do, this what I'm gonna do. Set that up on top of there. And then I'm going to weld that on there. Not saying it's going to be straight, not saying anything. It could have to come up. So what I'm going to do is, it's not, it's actually a pretty good actually. Um, where uh, this pipe is not fitting that perfectly, I'll weld it on this side, I'll weld it on that side. I got a gap here and a gap there. So that means I can go like this. Or I think I can. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. That's what we're going to do. So. I'm going to put that up there like that. Let's get the welder going. Now I need, well I have, I'll have the pieces on this side to do the other side, and that's where I'll take all the measurements from. Just wish I had something to hold that up there better, that's all. We are not where we're supposed to be in the front here. That does not matter. That does not matter. Let's weld it on. Let's go for it. Got to start somewhere. Does not matter if it's right or if it's wrong. Got to start somewhere. Um, when it's, if it's wrong, then, then we know what, what we have to do to fix it. If it's right, yeehaw! You know what I'm trying to tell you. There's a lot of dinner bells going off doing this. Dinner! Now, let's get the scoop going right here. Let's get that scoop going right. Now, if there's a gap, I'm okay with it. And the, and the reason I say I'm okay with it, I just want to scoop that just a little bit more. It's penetration. That's what I'm happy with. If you're not sure where to go in your project, just start anywheres, and then when it goes wrong, you know, then you can figure out what, what it takes to fix it. Yeah, I'm going to wrap there quite a ways and drop it down some. I'm hoping that'll hold it. Yeah. Oh. You hear that? 
Now, it's not even straight, not even close, or I don't think it is. I'm gonna have to move it around a bit. Huh. Not bad. Um, now, here, here's the thing that I do not know, or if the wheel's even straight. It doesn't look like it's gotten a very good alignment on it. That one don't look bad. But then again, that don't look bad. And it could be just... I'm gonna have to cut that one off, bring it over. But it would be good to having a good alignment on it. I'm happy with what's going on right there. I'm probably gonna end up, I'm happy with that. I'm going to put this back on. I can't get it, I'm having a issue with this piece, so I'm gonna cut that. And pull that over underneath of that. Now, I have this on there. Let's try it again. Ooh, took off on me a little bit. Not bad, not bad. I'm going to put this on here. I want to put this in there. It would be nice. I can pry that up a little bit. Now, which one do I cut off? I've got to cut one off to make it fit, if you know what I'm trying to say. Um, I'm gonna cut off. Let's see how far I'm out here. I'm out, I'm out past the wheel just a little too well. Hmm. That's level, so I'm out past the wheel by two inches so that I can come back just a little bit. I'm gonna cut it off the fender part because I'm gonna use that part, or this piece right here. I'm gonna use that piece, I'm not going to uh, Complicate it. I've have it. It's close. I'm going to use it. So I'm going to cut some off of this. And it looks to me like I have to V it off. Uh, what I'm looking at is the distance from there to there. And that's what I'm going to cut off the bottom to make that fit. That makes sense. This is the distance that's missing on the top. I want to make the same distance on the bottom. So from there to there is what I'm going to do. So when I flip this over, Same distance. And then I may have a point at the top. So I want to go. To the top. And I want to go to the top. That's what I'm doing. I'm just going to V it off like that. And I'm going to do two of them. And then I'll know. that I need for the other side and that's gonna be half a good cut or half a well it's just gonna be a trying cut let's turn this off so we're just kind of trying to mock it up if anything doesn't work or doesn't look good um, you're, you're gonna end up doing the exact same thing I done yesterday with the running board you're gonna cut it off and that's up to you if you want to cut it off or not but uh, that's what I do when I don't like something cut it off
And if we don't like, well, there's going to be gap, obviously. And if we don't like the angle, then we'll fix, we'll do, we'll deal with it after. And I could have very well went and found some uh, Model A fenders and tried to put on there, but why not make some? Why not make some? Don't have to go look for them, don't have to run for them, don't have to pay for them. Uh, just grab some exhaust pipe and go for it. And uh, who else is gonna have fenders like this one? <laughs> you are if you, if you do it, if you go for it. Yeah, I'm going to try to center that on that wheel. Basically, all I can do is try. I'm just going to put two, put two or three on it. So I get to step back and take a look. That's probably all messed up, no doubt in my mind, but uh, it could come down some. That's still going to come down some. To me, it does. So we gotta cut that off and just angle that down some. Take that. Let's take, put this back where it was supposed to be. I'm gonna cut that and just angle it down some. I'm gonna turn on the welder because I'm gonna weld it right back on. Put the welder close by. I'm gonna cut the two sides. Still got it tacked in the middle. And I'm just gonna get it in the center and angle it down some. I wanna angle it down more. <laughs> Let's do it again. leaving the top well to keep it connected. And what I'm doing is, is I'm looking at the line of the hood and uh, going from there. And I'm looking at the wheel. It probably could come down just a little bit more. Do it again. Do it again until you're happy. And I know it's a little bit more because I bring that angle together a little bit. Better, more, closer. I hope that makes sense. Now I likey. Now I likey. Also, when I get these pieces of exhaust tubing going all where I want it to go, and then and then I can uh, fasten things and tighten things down. I'm going to leave just two tacks down there. I'm okay with this up here. The outside's fine. I'm trying to grind that off nice. Let's grab a piece of exhaust and go for the other one. So I'm liking how, I'm just liking how this is going along with the wheel, this piece, and along with the hood. I noticed on 
this line here, the hood goes with this line, and this is down a little bit. We're going to end up filling that part, so you would never know if that's going to be fit with the line or not. I noticed that, but we're going to be putting fill on top of that, and you would never know it, but that looks good. That looks good. Also, we have this much on top of the wheel, so there's uh, it's a two inch two by four, so I think it equals out to an inch and a half or an inch and three quarter. But you have to remember we have that uh, inside. If the fender's on top of here, then we, we gather another two inches. So we're actually we're putting your four inches of ride height. And we haven't got that much in the front end, so we're good. Let's make another piece go down to, to there. Let's do it. So this one's going to be a little bit more complicated and the reason being is I've got that round edge to deal with and I want it to come off that round edge we're just gonna to have to do some cutting and some that sort of stuff what I think I'm gonna do is is I think I'm gonna change hat put on my thinking cap the Hilts Auto Co if you want one of those you just go to our this little store isn't it website. website online you can order that stuff if you like if you feel like you need be what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave that there and I'm gonna start cutting that and try to make this end fit before I cut that end off makes sense to me makes sense to me alrighty now you can see the gap that I have in there between that I'm going to I can do this let's tighten that up to make um, so it doesn't fall off and then I get better use of it Better use, not folly offy. Alrighty, got my marker. So we're going to a point. Let's cut that bad boy. Do this go right around the pipe I'm just gonna mark it here nope I'm gonna mark it here mark it on the outside does not fit we do it again we do it again and we do it again and we do it again kind of too much swoop on her there I'm gonna sharpen these off closer yeah like I said it's gonna be a funny funny fit going on there for a while just gonna grind where it was hitting Yeah. 
I'll take some of that end off. I don't know if that's the right thing to do or not. Just going for it. Ooh, I'm liking that. You know, you know what I can do there. You guessed coat hanger that's a nice gap I don't mind that I'm not gonna fight with it I'm not gonna fight with it I'm gonna do it up here I'm gonna cut an angle up here and I think that's gonna work up there it will work sure it will alrighty um, not gonna fight with that be called good penetration if I can get that to stay there now I'm going to make this cut. I'm going to cut it. Now, when I cut this one, this one, if we, if we recall, that's a straight cut on that one. So I'm going to make a straight cut on this one. And I hope I do not mess it up. Because I did cut it a little bit long, I'm thinking. So, just a little bit long. off just a little bit more you can see how much I got cut off just a little tiny bit a little tiny bit probably quarter of an inch She loves me, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna weld that in there. This is going together by what? Spy eye. I'm gonna weld this on the top here. I'm gonna weld it on the top. Easy cut off. Now we're gonna get this fitting down here. Yeah. I should have that cut off there a little bit more on the tip. See that? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, I'm gonna knock this off. Watch yourself. Go make, no make a noise. I'm going to tack it. We're on the outside edge here. We'll fill that up full of weld. I'm just going to tack it here. 
Let's see what we got going on. Not bad, not bad. Come in. This is this is coming out here nice. Talking myself into it. Talking myself into it. Kind of wound up here. Just kind of tacking it. Uh, very easy coat hanger there. Grind, I can weld that up for you. So slick. Um, does not have fit perfect there. I got a nice thing going on there. That can come down a little tiny bit. And the reason I say that's going to come down a little bit is because. Let's cut that off. That's got to come down. And the reason being. It, it's kind of laid in like that. Got to come off. Let's cut it off. That's holding on there. That's uh, you able to hold that whippy's wood, sweetheart? We're just gonna do this. We're gonna love to shove this bad boy on there. <laughs> there we go. Hickory dickory dock. Please. Is she gonna turn the welder on, boys? Gonna do it once. I think I moved it. I think I did. I'm gonna take a look at it though first. No, nope, not gonna move it. I like it. And the reason being is, this might be off up in here. What are we gonna do? Level there. Let's do that again. Okay, I'm fine. Why does that keep creeping on me? There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. You are going beautiful. I'm ready. That's going to have to be fixed up down there, obviously. No worries. That's what it's. Alrighty. Uh, we have the look of the front fender going on. This is not going to all stay from that running board. Like I said before, we have a, a piece of plate there half on. There's gonna to have to be something done to make it better than what's going on there. Like I said, it's probably gonna be gusseted to the top of the frame. Um, probably, no doubt in my mind. Also, when this, I'm gonna see if that's above the wheel, be on the wheel. Okay, so we're, that's fine. We're about an inch beyond the wheel. That's fine, that's fantastic. We look good this way. Like this can be moved at any time if this is not, this fender's not in place when we go to do the other one. Like we're, we're doing two fenders here. It's gonna be a bit of work to get them the same. It can be disconnected and then slid over a little bit and then re-weld it. That's, that's what I'm saying. So everything is gonna be tacked on and then uh, dealt with in the end. And where this is running down here like this, 
this point here is where it meets up. This point is where it turns around. We're going to have to deal with that. You cut that and make that round there so it goes around. You can see if it hits, see the, there's a corner here. It's kind of deceiving. If this pipe here was to hit up here, it would, look, it would look exactly like that pipe over there. Where it's coming around the corner and going down on the corner, and the corner's, that's where it's deceiving on that part. We're going to have to deal with this piece in here, and uh, that's no big no biggie. Uh, just a matter of shearing it off and making something look good there. Uh, let's go to the back. We got time? 50 what? 51. 51, 51. Um, We'll do a little bit, see what I can get mustered up here. We want probably an inch at the back wheel, seeing where we got an inch at the front wheel. We're just going to go with that. Take this off. Yeah. Not bad. Right about there, a little better than an inch. I would say that's our bad boy there. Not bad. Now, on this one here, like I said, I only put it up in one two by four on that end. On this end, it's going to get two because we're full, we're full suspension. So if we drop the back end to look like the front, uh, at least we'll, we'll, have, we'll have a little room to drop it. Because we did the hot rod thing. We lowered the front and didn't lower the back. So what I'm thinking is, is we want to use two pieces of 2 by 4 in, in, the, in the back. I'm going to take this piece here, pull this out, and hopefully this will work. Sure it will. Have faith. <clears throat> Going to end up moving uh, the pipe. Going to have to do set that again, but it's okay. I have to do it anyways. And setting the fenders on your ride can be. What can I say? Um, can be very crucial. I've seen, um, I've seen some fenders <clears throat> that they bring down on the car. It, to the eye, to me, it's not that pleasing. Bring the fender up on the car, more pleasing. More pleasing. Gonna put it down there and just push it ahead. Do we get a bubble? There's our bubble. We're probably about an inch. Didn't like that, did it? at it <clears throat> reference this one's going kind of straight up we can angle back a little bit Got a piece right here not long enough well that's not true I want to angle it back? I think I want to angle it back. I'm pretty near sure I want to angle it back. Pretty near positive I want to angle it back. Something like yay. And we got two, two by fours here, two there. Should have almost two here. Let's get a longer piece. We'll use this, every bit of it. We'll keep it, we'll use it.
metal is getting more expensive every day uh, so if you want to play wow it just gets more and more expensive what I'm thinking is I'm gonna take a measurement Eighteen is my is my calling. I'm going to say it's eighteen. eighteen. We'll go eighteen and a half. Reason being is just a little bit of length, length save for cutting for angles. Left some some angles. Okay, I'm thinking it's going to take me more than ten minutes to five or ten minutes to get that on there. We don't want to go too long on the video for that's for sure. But what's happening? You can see what's going on here. This one here was going to be the difficult one because of the corner being turned. Now this is on the outside of the wheel. Remember we we uh, wanted it two inches on the outside, so we got this exhaust pipe out on the wheel on two inches on that side and two inches on that side. I think we can move probably just a little bit. There's going to have to be some gearing down there, figuring that out and making that look like something. That'll, that exhaust pipe will have to be cut off and made look like something. Um, back there, we just got to find some angles and, and go where we think we're going to go. Um, if you like what's going on, throw a like in. And if you like, you might as well share. And if you share, you might as well subscribe and comment and all that sort of stuff. Uh, we are building fenders <coughs> from exhaust pipe, from nothing. Um, that's what we're doing today, or that's what we're starting to do. I wanna thank everybody for coming back and all the great comments. If you've seen a motorcycle out in the building that you think you got to have, throw in an offer, we'll be here. See you tomorrow, everybody. Thanks for coming back, appreciate it.